One thing that's really difficult to work with when you're working with dates and times is timestamps. So in this video, we're going to look at how Carbon handles timestamps uh, when we're creating dates, however you choose to do that. And we're going to refer to the source code to see where we can specify time zones. And there are a couple of ways that we can do this. So first of all, let's take a look back to creating a date now. Remember, we just say carbon now, like that. And let's go ahead and just far dump this and see what we get out. And we've already seen previously that we get a time zone type and a time zone here. Uh, this is defaulting to UTC. So if we go ahead and look inside of the source, so let's just pull open this, however you've downloaded it. And we go ahead and look for now. You can see that in most of these methods, we have this TZ argument that we, can, that we can pass in. And TZ just stands for time zone. So anywhere you see this, you know that you can specify a time zone. So all we need to do then is within here, specify a time zone. So for example, Europe slash London. Now you can find a list of time zones that are supported and that you can use within PHP's date time class. Remember that carbon extends date time if you take a look at the top of this class. So we can use all of the functionality from date time. So go ahead and look these up in the PHP manual if you're not too sure. But now when we go ahead and refresh, you'll notice that now we see time zone Europe London and you would have seen the date change that uh, the time change there as well. So if we just take it back to its default, you'll see that the time will change when I go ahead and refresh, and that's gone from 22 back to 21. So we're now specifying our time zone really, really easily using uh, carbon. So what we're gonna do now is look at another way that we can do this. So for example, we could say create from date, if that's what you wanted to do. So we can go ahead and type in a date here with them three arguments. You can do the same with time as well and date time. And you can go ahead and do exactly the same thing. So if we look at the create from date method, you can see that we can pass in the year, the month, the day, and also the time zone. So we can go ahead and specify that just in here with whichever time zone that we're working with. So I would encourage you to go ahead and look at the source and you'll find uh, anywhere else that you're actually able to pass in the time zone. This is really, really helpful. Um, so we can have our time zone stored somewhere within our project, perhaps in configuration, or if you're allowing users to set their own time zone, that'll be in your database. And then whenever you need to create a new date with Carbon, you can just go ahead and pass that value in really easily and everything will match up. Now, there is another way that we can do this. We don't have to pass it in as an argument. So for example, we could say carbon now. Let's just return back to our UTC uh, time zone. What we can do is we have a couple of methods. So we can say TZ for time zone, and we can go ahead and specify it this way. So Europe, London. And when we go and refresh, we see we get Europe, London. And we can also say set time zone as well. If you want a method that's a little bit more descriptive, that does exactly the same thing. So that's how we work with time zones in Carbon. Anything you now do with this date is going to be under this time zone. So that's extremely handy to know.